PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools. What's the old culture going on about today? What your sparks tell you about your cutting. Whether you're doing it right, whether you're doing it wrong, or whether you're doing it indifferently. Anyway guys, I'll show you a little trick that an old guy taught me when I first started plasma cutting. Listen to me, an old guy. Oh, I'm an old guy myself now. Anyway, time flies when you're having fun. Same as usual guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day at peachtools.com and I'll show you what I learned guys. So what I got told years ago guys, if you look at the end of the plate that you're cutting at, we actually got to look on the top and the bottom at the same time. I know that sounds a bit hard to do, but you can actually do it. And by the way the sparks fly out of your torch, you can tell whether you're going too fast, too slow, too jerky, you're too far away or whatever else you're doing. And I get a lot of emails from you guys learning how to plasma cut saying that it just won't cut properly, the machine won't cut properly and all the rest of it. And I think it's mainly because it's the speed that you're trying to drag through your work. I mean this thing can only cut so much and if you go any faster then it won't cut probably if you go any slower it also won't cut probably and it'll look like a dog's breakfast anyway guys i'll uh, show you what i mean first of all guys i'm just going to do a straight cut along here this is about a five mil plate and then what you'll notice is i'll be doing it at the right speed for the plasma cutter and the plasma torch so the sparks should be going straight up and down like that if you've got the right speed the right distance the right air pressure yeah your sparks should be going straight down like this or very close to straight down Right, so watch this guy. This is quite hard for me because I've got it set in the brain what speed to cut at. And you get that after a while. After you've been plasma cutting for a while, you start to know these things. And it's pretty hard to do anything else. But anyway, we'll do this at the normal speed. Right, you see the sparks are going... The sparks should be going straight up and down. See that guys, sparks are straight up and down. So we're cutting at the right speed for the torch and the plasma cutter can handle it. Just like that. So what I'll do now guys is I'll do exactly the same cut but I'll just speed it up a little bit. We'll go a little bit faster with the torch. See if you can see the sparks flying back that way guys and then you understand what I'm saying. The faster you pull your torch, the less likely you are to cut it obviously. So guys, what I'll try and do now is go way too fast and you watch all the sparks flying out of the top. Half of them don't even get down the bottom no matter what direction and they're all flying up towards me. So if you get that, if you're getting the sparks in your eyes and that sort of thing, you're going way, way, way too fast, guys. Anyway, let's do it. See that, guys? Coming up towards the top. Absolutely ugly. And they'd only seven it halfway through as well. So remember those little tips guys, I hope you could see that in the video alright, if your sparks are going straight down, then you're about the right cutting speed, if you're going that direction then you're a little bit too fast, and if they're flying up and hitting you in the face, you're way way too fast. Anyway guys, so that's how I learned what speed to pull the plasma cutter torch, remember if your sparks are going down almost straight, then you're about right, if you've got your air pressure and everything else set right, but if you're flying on different angles and they're flying up in your face, well you're going way 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 too fast guys. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my videos, subscribe, come say good day, Pete at PeteTools.com. Remember to check in the description below if you want to see what I find in my dumpsters every week. And we'll see you next time guys. Bye. And don't forget guys, like and subscribe to Pete's Tools. Yeah. PeteTools.com.